Okay, the last couple knots we're gonna do here would be the double loop eight on a bite. So to start that, I need to make a bite with my right hand, and I'm gonna scoop it with my left. So I come under, make my bite just a little bit longer. I need to leave enough tail to make an overhand safety knot in the end of this. So again, with this method, you can tie this in any section of the rope. So whether it's at the working end, at the running end, or even in a standing part, we can tie it using this method. So I'm gonna left hand, left palm up, make the okay sign. I'm gonna wrap three fingers, I'm gonna lay this flat. To keep the twists out of this now, it'll dress nicer. Okay, so again, I'm gonna wrap my knuckles, only this time I'm gonna lay it across the top. I'm just gonna pinch that there with my left thumb. My right hand is gonna go into the bite, so it's gonna dive into the bite. It's gonna reach back up through this first loop, and it's gonna grab those two that are laying on top. Now what I'm gonna do with my hands is I'm gonna continually hold this, that bite that formed around my wrist, I'm gonna pull to the bottom as I tighten this up. And take the slack out of it. So now I have a double loop eight on a bite. And this is stronger than a single loop. Now for the overhand safety knot, left hand, the rope that I wanna tie it to, my tail section here, I go over my hand, around the rope, and my finger points the way out. And buck that up close to the bottom of my double loop eight on a bite.